let's take a look. All right, so this is part two of the post Afro state that I said I was going to do. It's not the safe jump heavy slash that I said it was going to be because I labbed it a bit and it's fairly similar to jump D, just it's more tricky to do. The only noticeable difference is that you can get counter hit afro detonate combos, I think, and maybe afro detonate normal combos, but that's the only like major difference. You don't lose the uh, left right mix either when you do safe jump hitch, it's just delayed, it takes longer because you have to get it off the closest jump cancel jump tee, and it usually requires meter doing the safe jump hitch route because it uh, Faust can't really get long enough combos without using Mia to get the left right mix with the Scarecrow. So, in all honesty, overall, I think uh, Safe Jump D is better than Jump HS. So, I decided not to cover that, but instead, I decided to do the Blue OC stuff that I've been finding. I saw Apology Man do a, uh, what was it? A like, Blue OC Air Dash combo at the Red Bull tournament, so I went into the dojo and messed around a bit to see what I could find, and that's what you're seeing now. Some of this stuff is experimental, um, I've got some charged Scarecrow stuff in here, I've been trying to find more uses for Scarecrow because I basically only use it as a teleport when I have meter, and that's about it. The heavy version of Scarecrow is frame data wise, it seems like it could be really really good if I find uses for it because it's plus 7 on block and it's disjointed as you'll see in the video. I've got some not really setups, setups I guess, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But yeah it beats normals, it can beat DPs, it can beat 6P, it's multi hitting so if it clashes it normally wins clashes depending on which of the hits hits. That was a bit of a mouthful. The only thing is it's got a really long startup, so it's difficult to use in a lot of situations. I think like using meteors or trumpet, uh, like the minion wave of trumpet might actually help set this up a bit. You know, get your opponent in block stun and then just go into the charge K crow and try and catch him mashing a button when he comes out of guard crush or after the minion wave passes. You can technically do scarecrow and avoid the bomb and the weight. Not the S crow, like P crow and K crow. You can technically do it, but the the window of opportunity to do it is so small, it's very, very, very difficult to do. Even in the dojo, so trying to do it online is, for me, damn near impossible. But it is there, you can do it. But I wanna find more reliable ways to do it. So I'm gonna mess around with that a bit more. The bulk of the stuff you're going to see in this video is closest into up dash, so 8 8 blue RC, into jump slash, jump heavy slash. If you do this, because of, um, if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll know that if you do deep jump ins, you get plus frames. Doing this blue RC thing not only gets you really, really deep, so you get more plus frames than what you normally would. You also get the slow time effect of the blue RC, which increases the plus frames. So you are monumentally plus. You're so plus you can actually dash in after you land and go for a close S or a 5k. Not 5k. Oh yeah, technically 5k, but I meant to say 2k. I tested this against Kai's 5p, which I think is 5 frames. I'm not. I could be wrong about that. It could be 6 frames. I can't remember if his, if his, um, if it was his 5 frame or his 2 5 frame. If it was his 5p or his 2p that got altered, but it beats his 5p, I know that. You also get strike throw mix from it, so it's a good way to apply pressure and reassert yourself. It's also good because of the overhead stuff. Faust is predominantly a low character, like low strike throw character, so having more overheads in your arsenal is always good. But it's not the only RC you can do, you can do... 6-6 six, six RC, so forward dash RC into lows, you can do uh, jump cancel into 6-6 six, six blue RC as well to get a forward air dash one into jump H. I need to mess around with that one a little bit more. Uh, you can get a lot of stuff from it, but it's a bit tricky. I find the 8-8 blue RC one to be easier. 
I said before, I'm just rambling here, but I said before that you only really get jump D counter hit afro detonate combos from doing jump HS safe jump. I think that's what I said. I'll show some combos in the video to cover that. I won't show a lot because I've covered it in previous videos, but I'll just give you an idea of what you can do. I've also found some combos to use against heavy characters because, you know, heavy characters fall faster, so they, the combo routes are slightly different. So I'm going to start doing this a little bit more in other videos just so you know what works with what character. Because not all of the Kai combos work on, say, Gold Lewis or Potemkin or Nagoriyuki. You need to actually alter your combo routes to get decent combos on these. But Blue RC works very well because it stalls the opponent is the only way I can describe it. it. Kind of just They just hang in the air for longer so you can get longer combos and more damage. I've also found that when you do Blue RCs in general, you get mad corner carry from them, which is really, really good. It seems to me that Blue RC and PRC are on average more rewarding than red rc for some reason even though red rc is the quote-unquote damage combo rc but blue rc seems to be fantastic for getting damage because you can get jump cancel crap jump cancel into air buttons into ground buttons back into air buttons into you know wall breaks or supers or whatever it's it's quite strong is what i just want to say it's strong the reason this video took so long to make is because my computer seems to have difficulties connecting to my hub, so I have to replace the... I am not a computer guy, I have no clue what's called. Uh, network card. Yeah, that's what I'm going with, network card. Um, <laughs> so I haven't been able to play the game much, so this will probably be my last Faust video for a while, until I can get a new one. I will still try to upload them as often as I can but they're not going to be as often as they used to be not until I get my computer fixed I also intend to do happy kiosk if he's fun to play I'm going to do some combo guides and stuff like that on him as well as some gameplay probably if I end up playing him I don't know if I'll play him yet I have to wait and see how he actually plays so he might show up on my channel he might not either way though whether or not if I do happy kiosk or not my content on Faust guides and stuff like that is going to slow down at least for a couple of weeks probably until my new computer component thing comes. Of course I'll still try to upload as often as I can but until it gets here I can't really do much unfortunately. So sorry about that. If you need any information on the stuff I've showed in this video leave a comment and I'll try to help you out as always. I hope this video helps you out, thanks for watching. Take care.